happy Monday, my people. I hope you are all doing wonderful. My voice is kind of going in and out. I think it's the season change. And then plus I read all weekend and I did massages. So it could be my body also saying, sit your ass down somewhere and rest, which I plan to do sometime this week. I haven't decided which day, but sometime this week. I know a few of you have been trying to message me for the October monthlies. They are coming. I was going to try to start them today, but with my voice going in and out, that probably won't happen. So they'll get done sometime this week. They'll be coming through. Let me see. What else? The reading will probably start you guys within the next five minutes because I want to address an incident on a live read Friday where there was somebody who was coming in calling me fake and just being an asshole within the live read. And some of you felt the need to defend me and try to call this person out. Um, I First of all, I want to apologize because when I start reading, I get in the zone. I don't always look at the comments and see everything that's going in. And then I think when I started seeing that some of y'all were having a problem with this person, I was already finishing up the read. But I do apologize. Um, you know, some people are just idiots. They come in. It's so crazy. I get messages from people and they're like, I don't understand why you're on my feed. How you? How am I able to see this stuff? I don't even believe in this stuff. You have control over your Facebook on your feed. If you don't like something, you can unfollow, you can unfriend, you can block. You can do that. So why people continue? This person looked at the, the live for a while before they started making comments. And then they started, you know, doing all this disrespectful stuff. So I apologize for y'all that were subjected to that energy. It's never a good energy. But sometimes you just have assholes in this world. They ain't got not a fucking thing to do, but try to create another problems, uh, problems in people's energy. So. I appreciate y'all defending me, but next time, please try to get my attention so I can go ahead and block this person out. And I'm an air sign. I'm a Libra, y'all. I don't need y'all. Don't, don't take all my shit. I can completely, I can completely speak up for myself, but I don't want you ever to be in a position where you feel like you're being attacked on my page. I think the sad thing about it is, is we live in a society right now where people feel like it's okay to bully people or ridicule people or try to manipulate people because they don't think the way you do, or you don't think the way that they do. And that's bullshit. You're an adult. Now for the people who, because my page is a public page, if you don't want people in your stuff and you are still in the spiritual closet, you don't want people knowing that you get readings or you're even into this stuff, create you a fake profile, create you a fake page. That way you can sign on live readings ask your question. Nobody knows who you are. You have, um, complete, um, privacy with that because they don't know, because I feel like, unfortunately for some people, they want the guidance, they want the help, but they don't want everybody else in their business. So if you need to do that, go ahead and do that. I got like eight friends on Facebook with 15 plus pages. I don't even know these people real names at all. So if you feel like you need to do that to protect yourself, please do that. And understand that what you choose to believe in, what you choose to do, what you choose to participate in is your right as an adult. You can't let some asshole come in and tell you what you, you know, what you're supposed to believe in or try to guilt you or manipulate you into doing something or not doing something that you enjoy. You're giving them power. So when you deal with people like that, call their asses out. If it's something that you firmly believe in, be who you are. Don't let people come in and di dictate your life. It irritates me when people do that. You know, think like I think, do as I do. Why? Why the fuck? No, I have my own fucking mind. So if you encounter that on my page and you, you feel like you're being bullied, you feel like somebody is attacking you, please draw it to my attention. I promise you I will deal with it in a, in a, in a, in a very swift, effective way, because I don't want anybody, especially people who come in getting readings and you're vulnerable, you're putting yourself out there and you got some bitch ass coming in, making a comment or making a joke about what you're going through. I mean, come on. They got their own special shit coming to them. Trust me on that. But you don't have to put up with that stuff. So please, you guys, if you do feel like you need to create your fake page or whatever to be able to do these live readings, protect yourself because you know what you need. Okay. All right. Let's get into this reading now. And I did say almost five minutes in, right? What is this? 456. All right. Spirit. 
messages for my people for the coming week. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. All right. What else do we have? What other messages do we have for my people? Spirit, come on. These cards, what's up? Messages from my people. I want a money card. Send me some money. Messages for the people. Any guidance. Anything that needs to come through a spirit. Any guidance. Any messages. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Should we stop on that? They say one more. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Ah, two came out, but we're going to read them together. We are definitely going to read them together. The power of manifestation. Ah, I love it, Spirit. All right. So if you chose card number one, you got to work on your budget. You need to manage your money. You got money coming out too quick. It's like you got a hole in your hand. The dollar come in, dollar fall out. Dollar come in, dollar fall out. So for some of you, I tell you it's unnecessary spending and it's because of either emotions or, and I would probably go with emotional spending. For some of you, you could be depressed, um, having some issues. So it's like, I'm going to go buy a new dress or new shoes or a new car, new rims, new tires to make me feel better. But in the long run, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass because you may not have that money to cover it. Or you may have a situation that comes in when you need the money and it's not there. So for some of you, I feel like if you're buying stuff off of your emotions, trying to make yourself feel better, you might want to be a little bit more mindful with it because within this month, there could be an expense that comes up that you actually need your your money for. And then you're going to regret your purchase that you bought. For some of you, this is something in your house. This could be a repair, something that breaks down that, you know, you had the money, you were going to take a vacation, you have some plans and then a pipe burst or something happens. So be mindful if you're having some type of issues with appliances in your house, it's probably best to go ahead and get ahead of it. Call somebody before it becomes a big money drainer or a bigger problem. Now, for some of you, this I feel like this could even be with utilities. Um, check your meters. Check to make sure that your stuff is being read right, that you're not being overcharged for usage that you haven't been using. Um and this could even be for somebody uh, uh, air condition because I keep getting swirls. So you could be having some issues. Oh God, I hope not. Cause air condition replacement. Good God. I hope not for some of you. It may be compressor. It may be, um, I hope the whole unit is not going to have to be replaced, but I feel for some of you, this, this may be a thing. Now we're in October. Um, uh, you know, depending on where you're at, like if you're in Texas, some of us are still pulling off of our air. And I know that um, my neighbor just had theirs replaced last week. So it could be that problem. So be mindful of that, that if you're having some type of issues, your meter is being run um, too long or your fan is going too long or even your bill is increasing. You might want to have that checked out to see. Now, for some of you, I feel like you're making a move and you're purchasing furniture, uh, definitely one room at a time. Unless you have the money to furnish the whole place, then fine, cool and do it. But if you don't, be real mindful with your money because I feel like some of you are going to be going shopping and I want A, B, C, D, and then they hit you with that bill. And you could be taking out some type of credit to pay for it, but I feel like the payments or there's going to be another problem that comes up that the money you're allocating towards payment may be some type of issue with that. So be mindful. If you got a little bit of money saved up, hold on to it just in case you have a problem this month. Now, normally I read these cards weekly, but I feel for some of you, 
this is like October, this whole month. You, you got to be cautious about what you're spending. Okay. Card number two, past lovers, memories, memories of the love. Okay. So that's my Vegas voice. So for some of you, Venus retrograde, Lord have mercy. I, you know what? I don't know of such a thing. Mercury is the one that normally gets me with past people and, um, electronics all the time. But for some of you, you could be thinking about somebody from your past, dreaming about somebody from your past, wanting that connection to come back. And this could be somebody doing this with you where all of a sudden you get this phone call. I haven't heard from you in 20 years and now they want to come back. I saw your picture on Facebook or whatever. So for some of you, I definitely feel like this is going to be a connection with somebody wanting to come back um, and rekindle a situation. I don't feel like this is the right time for it. Um, and I don't know if Venus, I'm not, um, really versed with the planets. I don't know if Venus retrograde is detrimental on relationships. I would assume that it would be, um, because Venus is the planet of love. So if it's in retrograde, I'm assuming that it would affect relationships maybe in a negative way. So for some of you, I feel like this person is coming back, but it's the timing is off. You may need to rethink this. There could be some issue where, um, there were some issues that caused you to break up in the first place. And even though you haven't talked to this person in a while or a long time, these issues are still prevalent within this relationship. So be careful that you're not fantasizing about somebody Oh, well, I remember the good times and we used to walk to Coney Island and eat ice cream and all this. And they come back and you realize that what you were thinking about was a fantasy because this person is still the same person. And maybe now you're seeing things realistically. So be careful for some of you. You're going to get your bubble popped with some people that are coming back from the past that you had memories about that were better than what they actually were. Your memories were better than what the relationship was. So be mindful. Card number three, Ugh, despair. If you chose card number three, you're going through a situation where you feel like there is no positive outcome. It's like, what the hell? Everything is, is just falling. It's falling. I feel negative. The energy is on me. I can't, I can't move forward. Now with some of you, this is energy that is darker. It is negative energy. I would probably suggest a spiritual cleanse, prayer, something um, that makes you feel uplifted, whether this is music, dance, whatever it is that lifts your spirit. Some of you really need to shake it off. Get this off of you. Some of this, I feel like it's coming from your environment. So you may even want to cleanse your environment, organize things a little bit better. Um, I keep getting like stagnation where there's certain energy that um is settling in certain places i think it was who was it that told me that there's certain spirits that are attracted to clutter um i think it was candelo tata candelo so i i think for some people you may have places in your house or your apartment that there's a stagnation and there's the energy is not flowing properly because the environment is making you feel very down, um, very um, stifled, almost suffocated for some people. So I do feel like if this is the case, then you need to get in, you need to organize, you need to start putting things in order, open your doors, open your windows, cleanse, whether this is you use sage or frankincense or... Um, myrrh, whatever, whatever your poison is, whatever you feel comfortable with, I feel like you need to go ahead and do it. Now, for some of you, I feel like you're stuck in some type of pity party where it's like things are just not happening the way you want them to happen. And you just feel heavy. You feel like you have no power in a situation. Um, for some of you, this is definitely mental where you're kind of stuck in your head and you feel like there's no way I can get out. There's no way that this is going to change. So you're battling some issues that could be definitely mental, um, overthinking things. Spirit, clarify despair for me, please clarify despair for me. Some of you is confusion. It's like, you just can't, you, you don't know which way is up. 
Okay. All right. So some of you, this is definitely a depression, playing the victim, um, feeling victimized, feeling like you're stuck in a situation. You're not. You have power over your life. You do. It's just about the choices that you make. For some of you, I definitely feel like you're holding your emotions in and you're not seeing certain things. You're not addressing certain things with people and it's making you feel even worse. You feel like you don't have a voice. So you're once again feeling like you don't have power, but you do have power. So you may need a cleanse. You may need a change in environment. Some of you really are just going to have to be honest with yourself about what you feel and be open with the people around you. I don't like when you do this. this make, it makes me feel this way. You know, I don't feel comfortable here. We need to change some things around. Um, but I do feel for a few of you, you're dealing with a narcissistic energy where you feel like you can't do anything right around certain people and they make you feel like you just cannot win. Um, some of you, you need to, you need to change up the people that you're around because it's causing the energy is causing you to feel more anxious and more depressed than what you really need to feel. So be mindful of that. Do a cleanse, move some things in your environment and start looking at the people around you to get this off of you. Okay. Card number four, more money, more money, more money. Thank you, spirit. Cause I did ask for that money card. My spirits love me and I love them because they said, yes. We're going to give you this money card. If you chose card number four, you got good opportunities coming in. You might hear about a job. You might hear about uh, an inheritance. You could hear about an, a check payment that you forgot. Um, your finances are improving. Um, your business, if you're an entrepreneur, there's some extra money that's coming into you for the holidays. I feel like some people, they're saying market, promote, market, promote, put yourself out there. Um, if you're asking for money and you're manifesting money, you're burning, burning money candles, doing your rituals and everything like that. That's great. Setting your intent. But you also have to put action behind it. So if you're asking for money, you need to go ahead and make sure that you're putting resumes out. You're putting applications out, that you're going to places that you're really promoting who you are, you're putting yourself in the public eye. Now, for some of you, I feel like this is um, unexpected money. So this could be an inheritance. This could be um, a bonus or some type of promotion that comes to you that you weren't expecting, but it's a good amount of money where I feel like you can pay some bills, maybe do some things with, but manage it, manage it for this month. Because like I said, you may have an unexpected expense that comes up. So be careful with that. Now, I do feel that there is a new job opportunity that is coming up for a few people. Make sure you check your, your, your emails, your text messages, um, your voicemails, because I feel like you're going to hear about an opportunity that comes in. It's a really good opportunity, opens up some doors for you, brings in some money, especially if you've really been hitting the pavement and putting things out there. Um, I get money flying in. So I keep going back to unexpected money. So for some of you, you really don't. You're like, where is it coming from, Tanya? Where is it coming from? I don't know. It's flying through the window. It's coming up from the floorboard. It's coming though. So for some of you, if you've been dealing with some money issues, if you chose card number four, your money, your situation is about to improve and improve in a good way. Now, I don't see a lot of, num lot of numbers. Like I think somebody was like, can you do numbers? If I could... Y'all wouldn't even be seeing me. I'd be on a private island, butt naked, drinking a pina colada somewhere. But since that is not my ability, we're going to go with maybe somebody's going to loan me some money or there's a job opportunity that is coming in for me to make some more money. So be mindful and look at all your messages. Make sure you don't miss any opportunities. Card number five, new love. Somebody got the look of love in their eyes. Um, I feel like... For some of you, you've been asking, praying, wanting somebody to come in. Some of you are praying for a soulmate connection. I do feel like this person is going to catch your eye. There's definitely a connection that comes in. And with all this red in the car, I feel like it could be a really fast connection. Could be fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. If it's not that person's sign, it could be their energy where they come in. Um, 
and they come in really, really fast. You're like, where the hell did you come from? And it's like, I want to get to know you. I want to take you out. Let's go on a date. You know, let's go to Fiji. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Paris. What are you, do you want to move in together? The energy is moving really, really fast. So be cautious with that. Because sometimes when you have somebody who comes in that quick, uh, they a minute person. They might be two minutes, three minutes, man or female. They might be here today, gone tomorrow. So if you have somebody who's coming in too quick with love, slow it down. Get to know the person. Let them get to know you. Don't let them rush you or push you into something that you're not ready to be into. In other words, don't give up the booty too quick because they might come in, get the booty and decide, you know what? Now I want to go check out another booty. You got to let them get to know you. Spirit, clarify this new love. Any information, any information, any guidance on this new love coming in. And with them being right next to the money card, this person has a job. They could actually have a really good job. Let's see. Ah. Leo Aries Sagittarius. More than likely for some of y'all, this is going to be a Leo. If there's if it's not their sign, they are a dominant leader. They could be stubborn, opinionated, but there's a, a, a authority to them. There's a quality to them that makes you take notice. Could also be an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Now, it looks like when this person comes in, they're not coming in full of emotion, but they're coming in with a lot of steam. Could be a lot of passion into it. So I feel like for some of y'all, this definitely is a connection. This person has a little bit of maturity about them and it is a karmic attachment, which means that it could be some bumps in the road. So like I say, slow down, get to know this person, see if this is something that you really want to go or explore. I also feel too, for a few of you, this person could live a distance away where they're coming in and that could be why they come in quick and they leave is because they're coming down to visit, they get some booty and then they go back to wherever they were at. So be mindful of that that this is something that could definitely come in quick and leave. I feel like this person is of a different culture for a few of you. Like they speak a different language or uh, they are from a different country or a different, um, I keep getting an island vibe with that. Could be, oh my God, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Colombian. I, there's something about this person that I feel like there's a different flair. They could even speak a different language. Now, this is not going to apply to everybody, but for some of you, you're going to connect with it. Card number six, feeling trapped in conflict. Now, if you chose card number six, it looks like you're in a situation or an environment where there is some fighting or uneasiness that's going on with this environment. This could be with family members. This could be within a relationship, a love relationship with somebody where there is um, communication issues. There could even be with this card, there could be physical um, issues that are going on within this relationship with somebody. Let me clarify real quick. Mwah, hey, babe. So for some of you, you're definitely dealing with a hostile situation that you may feel trapped in. You may feel like, damn it, I got to live with this person. I don't have the finances to move out the way. Um you know, I, I, I can't go anywhere else. So this could be within your environment because I'm feeling like for some people, this could be moving in with relatives or being with somebody who's abusive, who likes to keep chaos and things going on. So for some of you, I feel I'm sorry if you're dealing with this. If you need help, please reach out to people in your community that can help you. Hotlines, you know, shelters, organizations, if you can. Um, feeling trapped is somebody who feels like they can't get out of the situation. Spirit, clarify for me, please. Clarify card number six. Clarify. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who is extremely jealous. They don't like you doing anything, and the arguments could be because of their jealousy. Um, it could be somebody that's going through your things. They see communications that maybe you didn't want them to see, and then there's a fight, there's an argument, and you feel trapped. So for some of y'all, this is going to be a relationship where you're with somebody who is very dominant, opinionated, controlling. For some of you, this may even be this new person coming in. If they're a fire sign, 
um, that comes in really, really dominant and aggressive. This could be a situation where you get involved with them and you feel controlled. So take your time, get to know somebody before you move into that relationship. For some of you, I feel like this is a friendship where they're causing issues within a relationship or they're causing issues within your family. This could also be workplace because I see that it could even affect your money. So for some of you, you're dealing with somebody, it could be a fake friendship where you thought that there was a better connection with this person and then they start some type of gossip or conflict and you kind of feel stuck in it. So start being mindful of the people that you're dealing with. Use your intuition. Look at people a lot closely. Don't listen to what they say. Also pay attention to what they don't say and trust the vibes that you get from people because sometimes spirit will hit you up and say, look, you know, every time I'm around this person, I get a bad vibe. You know, I get a bad feeling about them. Maybe I need to stay away from this person. Maybe I don't need to do business with this person. So I do feel for some of you, this is going to be conflict that affects your money. Feels like it's pettiness, but watch your back in the situation. If you're working a job and there's something that is important that you need to handle, you make sure you handle it. Don't leave it for somebody else that is coming around that could be trying to screw you over. Watch your back in that situation. If this is dealing with a friend, start paying attention to the people you hang around with. If you share good news, watch their mannerisms because you'll be able to pinpoint the people who really are not on your side. Now, if this is an abusive relationship, please reach out to people around you in your community, your family, organizations. If you get involved with somebody who is very um, dominating, possessive and obsessive of you, that's not healthy. And you may need to walk away from that relationship. You're not trapped. There are people around you that can help you. And I see that there is support around you. So if you find yourself in that situation, please extend yourself out to ask for help. Don't be prideful and stay in the situation because it could turn physical if it hasn't already turned physical. All right, you guys, I love you much. Mwah. See you soon.